here we go then at the women's 25. series where it's Fallon's Fantastic Four. After Fallon Sherrick. Bullseye, Rian's won the ball. Won the first event of the Saturday session here at the women's series. And edges closer to the Queen's return 60. to her palace. Adita Hedman was there last year and still has designs on maybe catching Lisa Ashton in second place after Lisa lost in the quarterfinals in the previous tournament. But Hedman threw away a 3-0 lead in the last 16 before losing to Denise Cassidy and failed to bolster her bid. She still sits in third on the order of merit, but she's got a very, very dangerous opponent in Rihanna O'Sullivan, who we saw some great stuff from 81. in the first set of events. Not bad for starters in event two, and event one certainly wasn't bad for starters, Dan. Absolutely. But we are watching another icon of this sport in Dieter Hedman. Fascinating character. An incredible darts player. But she's up against Rianne, who's, who's been her the last couple of times she's played her. Beat her at the Women's Series 100. in Milton Keynes in September, but also beat her in the WDF system at the British Classic the other weekend. So, two for two in their meetings this year for Rianne, who is one of the women who you saw have a real impact on the first weekend of Women's Series action when you're in MK. Yeah, really did play some good stuff over the course of these six events 26. there, Rihanna O'Sullivan. She managed to get wins against the likes of Anastasia Dobromislova, Joe Locke, Hedman, as you mentioned. Some deep runs, including one to the 60. final of the very first event when she was runner-up to Lisa Ashton. And she's what been happened? in the biggest final in women's darts on a couple of occasions. On debut at the Lakeside, Rihanna O'Sullivan was runner-up. And then again the very next year, the turn of the last decade. And Hedman will be well aware. I mean, Dita Hedman 60. lives and breathes darts. She will know full well the quality of the opponent she's up against here. Hasn't quite calibrated the radar in this one, though, Rian. 26. It's a second visit of 26 for her. It just opens the door for Dieter, even if she doesn't take this out, to uh, leave herself on a simple finish. One hundred. Decent enough. 60 when she comes back and the way her darts lie. Means at 60 is a dramaless checkout. But is it one that she gets a go at? 69. Just seemed a very rushed dart from Rianne, that. Well, took an age to throw at the single eight and then just not tried to make up for it by getting rid of the dart at tops as quickly as possible. Almost as if she threw both darts at the same time there. <laughs> and there's Hedman a couple at tops. That could be tricky. 20. Just does eclipse a little bit of the bed when it lands so close to it above for Dieter Hedman. Double 16. Okay, another double eight. There you Good go. Job. Why not? Beautiful stuff. Rihanna Sullivan, one way or another, manages to get the first leg on the board. There was some really good stuff, some very, very average stuff in that leg. A couple of visits to 26, but then some also quite impressive things. 1 0, though. We saw a very sporting. Apology from O'Sullivan there after 41. missing by such a big margin that she found the wrong bed. But it's all right doing it from 16s to 8s. 41. There are other segments of the board where that would mean you were bust by missing by that distance. And she takes the first step against Dita Hedman to move into the second round here. The winner of this will take on the winner of the next match here on PDC TV, Donna Gleed against Deborah Watlin. 79. Anastasia Dobromislova in a bit of trouble in her first match in this 
second event. She's 2 0 behind against Lorraine Hyde, who we saw put up a decent display against Fallon Sherrick. Yeah, she was rather unfortunate not to come away with more. Lisa Ashton has raced out the blocks against Natalie Gilbert, 3 0 up and averaging 98. 60. No doubt with a point to prove after. Yeah, but you should consider it a failure not making the final, I'm sure. Well, absolutely. 100. Four of the six were contested between her and Fallon Sherrick in the events last month. Sherrick has now made it four titles at the Women's Series. Eighty-five. One hundred. Well, she's quite a quick thrower, Rihanna. It's not really, it's not what you call a rhythmical throw, but it, she does get rid of the darts pretty quickly when she wants to. And she can get that first one where she wants it. She looks like the sort of player that might be able to follow them quite successfully. Compare that to Dita, who's, who has that same rhythm, that wind-up motion. You you know, you could close your eyes, and as long as she's not stopping and thinking, you think, you know, you could guess when those 60. darts are going to land. 60. Well, Sullivan in the previous leg threatened to take out a ton plus checkout and then came back 140 to finish after Dita missed two at double top in this leg she doesn't get a go at the ton plus checkout after a wayward 40. second dart but may come back after Hedman misses two at tops again will it be tops she may go nine she does go nine for double 16 this time and pins it. Dieter Hedman levels the game up. A very accomplished finish from Dieter Hedman. Favouring that double 16. 100. Having missed a couple of tops in the previous leg. And she levels up the match. Important for her. She's still in pole position to break up the Sherrick Ashton dominance at the top of the order of merit A reminder that Makuru Suzuki 100. is now in pole position to take the second available Grand Slam spot if you are just tuning in there are a couple of things being played here at the Women's Series, two places at the World Championship and they will go to the top two players on the order of merit after all 12 events have been played this is event 8 but one spot of the Grand Slam just for the events this weekend. Fallon Sherrick having taken the first one by topping the order of merit for events one to six. 41. 60. easy assignment for players to play in three tournaments in a day as Dita 140 picks up a ton 40 to get her right back in this leg you know, Fallon has just been electric in the final to take the first 100. one against Mikuru but although she is 2-0 up on Holly Meadwell I mean she's only averaging in the 60s in that one it's you know, literally minutes after winning that game, it's like you like, get back in the first round, you're doing it all again. One hundred. Yeah, she seems to turn it on for the stream, doesn't she, Fallon Sherrick? Takes out the Shanghai finish to hit the front. So, so accomplished when the dart is low, below the treble 20 bed, in either using it to put one in there or just making the necessary adjustment to do so. 140. Good response from Rihanna O'Sullivan. We've got winners in the opening round already. Lisa Ashton has completed a 4-1 victory over Natalie Gilbert and Lorraine Wynne-Stanley. The 
woman who beat Lisa in the first event today has won 4-0 against Joanne Dima. Turning into a very good day for Lorraine Wynn Stanley. Maybe she does have her eye on a Grand Slam. It has been brilliant in Barnsley so far. What a week we've had, PDC TV subscribers. Uh, Dieter Hedman here looking to follow the 120 with the 118. Needs the treble. Gets it. How about double 19? It's in. Oh, classy again. What a player she is. Back-to-back -back checkouts. 120, 118. It followed a 41 in the second leg. I mean, this could be done and dusted already. She missed darts in the well opening leg. And Rihanna Sullivan, who we already explained, is a real threat in these women's series events. Dieter Hedman is just dealing with her at the minute. Something rather eye-pleasing about watching a player ask the referee what they need and then just hitting it straight away. <laughs> she knew what she wanted. 100. More results from around the boards. Tracy Davis has seen off Shelley Price by four legs to one. Fallon Sherrick has got the job done against 45. Holly Meadwell. 4-0, but only a 60 average. So I assume there's at least one or two legs in there that have gone not according to plan. Because that is... I don't think I've ever seen or very rarely have I seen somebody play two consecutive games within 10 minutes of each other and average more than 40 points less which is what Fallon's just done but she still won it and won both of them to nil 41 even when we have the odd game we have never done that but to be fair you can't, can't average, average minus yeah, yeah. Mm. Lorraine Hyde in a real battle with Anastasia de Bromislova. 3-2 up. And Katie Sheldon, the young Irish talent 95. in the last leg, decided with Sandra Page. Eighty-one. Dieter can put herself within striking distance. And striking distance is all she's needed to be within the last couple of legs because she's taken out one treble combo finishes and I think she's going to leave one here, if not something better. Yeah, remember, she missed a couple of darts to win the first leg and then lost that. Since then, has completely turned this match on its head and is now eyeing up 100. the third combination checkout to put it to bed. Treble 17, double 16, unless she wants to go and use the bullseye route to ensure a dart at the outer ring. So it'll be 16 and bull. Big fat 16. She can't quite pick.